All right, folks, how is everyone on this wonderful, what day is this video going to go out? Wednesday, probably, in the future. No, actually, this is Tuesday. The video is being recorded on Tuesday evening. It will probably be posted either very late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning, something like that. So, yeah, I was going to do this goofy vape mail thing where I, empty box oh where's my mod but no I'm not gonna do that um last mod i got here would be the uh squid industries double barrel 2.1 so yeah that's the last thing i got in and i'm absolutely loving it love the mod great shape grape size grape grape like the fruit grape no Great shape, great size. Um, really been enjoying it. I got it in a couple of days ago. Um, they shipped it super quick. Um, ordered it straight from Squid Bait. And yeah, like I said, super quick shipping. Got it in. Immediately threw some batteries in it and had some issues with the battery door. So for full disclosure, because I'm not going to put any... Um, I mean, I love the mod. Absolutely love the mod. Um, have been using it nonstop since I got it. But I did have some issues with the battery door. Uh, I fixed the issues myself, remedied, remedied the issues. Um, needed to take a little bit off of the end of the battery door to actually get it to where it would slide in like it's supposed to into the mod. Now, the issues that I had were not... Some people are having some issues with, um, I, I guess, essentially the tightness of the battery door, kind of getting a, you know, getting it to, to go in uh, initially, and then they say, oh, well, you know, the more you do it, it kind of breaks itself in. Those were not the issues that I had. The issue that I had was is that my battery door, the actual uh, spade part of the battery door that slips into the mod itself was a little bit long. And I had actually had to trim some material off, but I got mine to where it'll fit, see, works perfectly. Uh, the other issue I had was is the magnets actually popped out of my battery door. I uh, took my battery door off, and the two magnets were still attached to the corresponding magnets on the mod itself. Not a super big deal. Put a little epoxy, reseated the magnets, and we've been rocking on ever since. So... Not a big deal, but for full disclosure, I did have a couple quality control issues with my battery door. I've reached out to Squid Vape um, at the record at the point this point of recording this video. They have not responded back to me, so in a future video, if they do respond to me, I will update. You know, like I said in a future video, the response that I got and, and all that good stuff. But it's it's not a not a super big problem for me. Mod works beautifully. I've been using it and enjoying it every second since I got it. Mm, just a stellar vape. I'm using the dead rabbit on it, the blacked out, murdered out, black. I don't know why I keep sticking it up there. You can't, it's not going to focus up there. Um, so yeah, the, the murdered out dead rabbit is what I've been using on it. The coils that I have in here are a dual set of frame staple Claptons. They came out at a, a 0.22 ohm and they kind of get the uh, cap on my dead rabbit a little bit warm. The normal round wire bills that I've been putting in here have not given me that issue, but for some reason, the set that I'm using uh, currently get that get that cap hot. So what I've done is I've used a little bit longer uh, 810 drip tip that I had uh, in my collection, just so it kind of keeps my lips away from the actual cap itself. It, it gets hot, and if I kind of chain vape, of course, it, it stays a little bit warm, but not to the point where it's unusable, but... Yeah, I just like that little bit of extra space when I go to when I go to take a toot on this thing that I'm not like my lips aren't touching the cap after continuous use. So yeah, Dead Rabbit is stellar. Love it. Um, pretty much the only RDA that I've been using. I have bought two. Uh, actually, took. My stainless steel one to a buddy of mine, he wanted to try it out, so I'm letting him use it, 
and that one I had been using on uh, my drone and using it as using it in squawk mode and it's been working fabulous in that mode but like I said let him use that so that he can kind of kind of get the enjoyment of using the dead rabbit that I've been because I gush about it every time I go into the shop where he works at and tell him how great it is and so he's like all right well let me try it out and see if it's as great as you say it is so and he's been enjoying it last time I stopped by the shop he was using it and like I said ever since I got the double barrel in it's the first and only RDA that I've put on it and it's the only one that I've been using on it and I've been enjoying every cent. So enough gushing about the double barrel and the Dead Rabbit RDA. So I've got a few things on order and I'm going to try to do the whole vape mail deal and wait for all this stuff to come in and then do a video unboxing it. None of the stuff that I have is new stuff. It's all stuff that's been out for in some cases a year or more um, in other cases maybe a few months uh, but these are things that I've been wanting to try out one of the things that I ordered I'm a big fan um, in some of my other videos I mentioned the Sense Blazer Pro tank it's a 28 mil tank and I normally run it on my Hexone well when I ordered the double barrel that 28 millimeter tank looks ridiculous on this little this little guy but I love that tank so what I did was is I ordered the Sense Blazer Mini to go on this because like I said I normally when I'm out and about I like to run a tank because you know when you're driving you're not going to drip when you're driving or at least you shouldn't you shouldn't be taking your attention off the off the road to uh, try to drip so I use a tank and the Hexome I love the Hexome but it's a little bit a little bit sizey it's a little bit big to carry out and about so that's why I ordered this so I would have a mod that I can kind of use that's not as, as, as big that I can kind of carry around and it won't be as much of an issue well since Blazer Pro Tank won't work on this since Blazer Mini will and that's what I plan on running it when I run a tank now I also ordered the Troll version 2 I had an original Troll version 1 uh, with the copper cap and absolutely loved it unfortunately I stripped the posts out on it and hadn't been able to use it so I took the opportunity to pick up a black troll version 2 in 22 millimeter which will be put on this from time to time when I'm not using the dead rabbit and yeah ordered um, custom drip tip to go on the troll and I'm waiting for it to come in. Just got the email today that it was shipped out, which is great. There's usually a pretty, uh, pretty long lead time on the custom drip tip from Lawless Drip Tips. Lawless Drip Tips, I believe it is. But all that, I'll, I'll go over all that where they're from and, and all that once I get the items in. Uh, as I mentioned in some of my previous videos, my channel, I'm going to be purchasing all my items um, so they're not going to be sometimes I mean I may order some stuff that's that's new but anything that I do a review on or do an opinion on are going to be items that were probably already on the market or you already have access to so it won't be a traditional preview or review in that sense it'll just be my opinion on the product as I get it in and what I think about it so and it'll probably lead to some of the other items uh, that I've purchased for my my show, my channel, my the videos that I do that I'm going to probably go over uh, as well. So those items will be thrown in. It won't just be uh, your typical vape stuff. It'll also uh, encompass some um, or incorporate rather. rather oh, I can't speak. It's bad enough with my accent and then all of a sudden I try to speak English and just kind of fails me. So yeah. There's that. The other stuff. Uh, my weekend was pretty busy, and I was I wanted to do a, a few more videos, and I didn't. I got to spend some time. I, I got to spend some time with my son. He just moved uh, about an hour away from me, which is kind of weird. He's always been pretty close, and also he moved about an hour away. And uh, his mother and myself, we kind of spent the weekend uh, spent the weekend with him. So. So that yeah that 
And that's one of the things. I, I just watched some videos with the Vaping Postman. He took off like eight days, and he was you know, talking about how it's an eternity when you do videos. And I'm just getting started out with my channel, and I'm getting just getting started out posting some videos. And I know that in order to grow a channel, that I need to be putting videos out day after day after day. And I'm really not sure if that's the route that I want to take. I mean, at this point, I've got nine wonderful subscribers, and I know most all of them personally, and I'm extremely thankful for the nine people that have subscribed. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be, I mean, it may, and, and it would be great if the channel evolved into, you know, something with a lot of subscribers, but, you know, I, I have a life outside of doing the YouTube videos, so... I can't promise that there's going to be a massive amount of videos posted daily or weekly because um, I know that a lot of the other reviewers and stuff they say that it's all consuming and that it takes up every bit of their free time and I'm not sure if I'm I'm not sure if I'm ready for that that kind of commitment or if I even want to do that because right now it's just kind of fun it's just kind of a fun thing to kind of throw up throw some videos out and not really have to worry too much with it so but yeah yeah that's um that's pretty much everything on the vape side of things um haven't really gotten anything else in new other than the than the double brow like i said i've been enjoying it great great stuff so what else oh yeah, I, d I did actually, I should have gotten this and had it ready and prepared. Where is it? Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if I can get to it without dragging a bunch of, yes. I do actually have some other, some other stuff. I had completely and totally forgotten about this, so. Now, if I can make sure that I'm still in focus, I'll be in focus, everybody. Yeah, that looks good enough. Okay, so, took a little trip to the vape shop, like I said, uh, visited my buddy there, dropped off uh, my other dead rabbit so that he could try it out. And while I was there, I was in need of some juice. And this really isn't going to be wow for being prepared. This really isn't going to be a juice review type thing, but I, I really, I really like um, kind of the marketing stuff that some of these, some of the companies do. The uh, kind of little specials or stuff that they throw in or add uh, to get you to buy the buy their products. So I needed some juice, and one of the juices that I use is is a juice made by Ruthless, and it is Easy Does It on ice because I, I like I like a menthol menthol juice so as I when I was in there I noticed this uh, kind of a paint it's like a paint tin paint can kind of deal and it said um, it said ruthless uh, collectors edition so I'm like oh what's up with that and the it came with hundred and twenty mils of juice and for the price that I paid for this, I essentially all I was buying was the juice. It wasn't that far off from from the price of, of if I actually it was cheaper the to get this collector's edition than it would have been to buy the juice to get 120 mils of it. So inside this little tin, this little ruthless um, collector's edition tin, inside you get pair of sunglasses kind of um, kind of Ray-Ban Ray-Ban-esque kind of sunglasses check that out heck yeah so some Ray-Ban style sunglasses from Ruthless says let's see what's it say here on the side I just got the Ruthless logo on the side here um, same on the other side kind of got a little cool pattern going on but yeah check that out so then this nice uh, drawstring bag that uh, is upside down yeah that would have been better get it right 
get it right, man. So yeah, ruthless, ruthless drawstring bag. What else we got in this can here? Right, Steve, Ray Charles. That's terrible. I shouldn't do that. All right, so drawstring bag. We got that going on. Have a have a chubby gorilla bottle dripper. So that's in there. And then a lanyard. A ruthless, ruthless versus everybody. Ruthless versus everybody lanyard. Yeah. And then ruthless keychain. So yeah, that was all what was in, including the 120 mils of juice. So, yeah. I so said, what the heck, you know, if I'm going to get, if I'm going to buy the juice anyway, if, I'm, if I need to get some, some juice, I might as well, uh, might as well get some fun swag to go with it. So yeah. Ruthless Collector's Edition. One of nine million and one. So yeah, I got that, picked that up. Um, like I said, you know, if you're gonna spend the money on the juice, why not get some some little bonus bonus gear to go with it? So yeah, there was that. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, got some other stuff in so that I can do the Muddy Vapes Adventure. So I mentioned in one of my other videos that I was wanting to, <clears throat> I was wanting to, to actually go through and do some, you know, go to a shop, go to a vape shop and kind of uh, video while I'm there. So I picked up this, uh, this little camera rig to do exactly that so that I could actually go to the vape shops and, um, uh, do some man on the street stuff. Get other people involved. Talk to some folks and see what they had going on while they're in their vape shop. So yeah, uh, so I picked up this nifty little contraption here. Got my iPhone in there, and um, the foam on the sides. Um, I got a shotgun mic that goes up in the in the hot shoe mounts here. So I got I, I put foam on the handles because this the frame itself, this material here. When you have when you have the mic on it, and you if you manipulate it, you know, because you're going to hold it kind of like this number here. You're going to hold it in kind of video such as this. The your hand moving across this plastic translates straight into the mic terribly. It's like it's 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 amazing how much the sound transfers into that rig but yeah that's the uh that's the new uh the new mobile video setup so i can go in and look all like you know cinematic do some sweeping you know man on the street yeah yeah so there's that got that in the lineup to do the man on the street thing i'm actually using the shotgun mic on top of my on top of my nikon that'll get mounted on to this uh, i'm using it to record the audio for the camera um, and then i've got my other mic here running into the h4n pro to get some audio and surprisingly enough the audio that the the shotgun mic picks up is is really good uh, I could actually use just that audio as opposed to running the other mic, but of course, I, I just had to have another mic. There's, I picked up, I've got, like I, like I was saying, I've got like four or five different mics that I've been using. I actually picked up a, another lapel mic um, to go with the phone. Um, and I mean, it, it was inexpensive. I think it was like, you know, maybe 10 bucks, but the audio out of it is is great it, it really really sounds decent coming out of uh, out of that lapel mic and i was surprised by that i was like i, I couldn't imagine it um which the funny thing about it is i picked up the lapel mic it comes as a package 
and it came with an adapter that was supposed to be a, or I'm sorry, it wasn't supposed to be, because when I went back and looked at the listing on Amazon, it never mentioned that it was a TRS to TRRS adapter. It never mentioned that, and I thought it did, and I ordered it as part of a package, because I need a TRS to TRRS adapter um, to run the shotgun mic into the iPhone but I bought it for that adapter and turns out that the adapter is just is actually just a TRRS female to TRRS male extension basically and it won't work the lapel mic will the lapel mic comes with a TRRS uh, male part on it to go right into the iPhone so yeah I need to stay away and stay off of Amazon I, I order too much video audio stuff from Amazon I have enough to start my own freaking production company so yeah <clears throat> so I'm gonna feel really bad and please comment below on the videos uh, on the audio quality and the video quality because I'm, I've put a lot of hard work into um, what I think is pretty decent audio I know that in the room that I'm in I'm getting a little bit of an echo but I try to, to deal with that and manage that in post when I when I edit everything so but overall I think what I've got going on right now without like spending an astronomical amount of money because this is definitely balling on a budget when it comes to the equipment that I'm using. But the point that I'm trying to to get with that is is that I'm I'm trying to get some really good quality audio with these mics that maybe aren't, you know, they're definitely not high dollar stuff. None of the mics that I have, uh, the condenser mic that I'm using up here was like twenty bucks. The shotgun mic, I want to say, was 25 Yeah. The most expensive piece of hardware that I bought was my H4N Pro. And it was well worth, it was well worth the money on that. And I could actually use the, the built-in mic from that. I mean, it sounds great. I could use that, but kind of like the different the other part of the setup. Kind of, kind of digging, digging that part of it um, a little bit better. But yeah, I like to like to change things around, do do some different stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing with all that. Uh, juice that we're I'm using the uh, roofless. Easy does it on ice. That's what I'm what I'm pouring into the dead rabbit and I, I I bought a lot of these little bottles these little they're 15 mil juice bottle or 15 mil bottles with the little uh, unicorn tips on them you can pick these up Amazon like 25 of them for seven bucks or something like that and I love these because when I'm out and about I can just put whatever juice I want in them you know whatever juice I want to want to carry with me is 15 mils worth fits in a, po a pocket perfectly and I can just you know pour it into an RDA if I'm using an RDA uh, and that way if I fill up a tank if I take the Sense Blazer Pro with me and throw a ton of juice in it then I have this to refill the Sense Blazer Pro yeah so there's that but um There's nothing like that first hit off of the RDA after you've kind of juiced it up. That first hit is just like flavor, explosion, strong kick of nicotine. If you've got nicotine in your juice, kind of grabs you right in the back of the throat and shakes it one good time, you know, that first initial, initial vape. Oh. That brings to mind, um, I picked up a new battery charger, an 8-bay battery charger 
And uh, let's see if I can grab this box without snatching all this stuff off. off of okay, so I've got the I've got the charger set up. I've actually got it set up working. It's doing its job working, but yeah, this is it. This guy is awesome. If you are looking for a charger, this guy is great. Um, Grave, Gray Falcon, Gur Falcon, Geary Falcon, Gur Falcon, Graf Frickin, Graf Flocken, Flicken Flicka, yeah, it's that word right there. That word. But yeah, 8 bay charger, it is, it is great. It is the bee's knees. And uh, with that, I picked up, I picked up some. Sony VCT5As picked up several of those because some of my batteries are getting up on the year plus mark and yeah they they've done a lot of um, shall we say heavy duty cycles they have gone through my learning phase so with anything with vaping if you're if you're not familiar with Ohm's law if you're not quite confident with your building and you might you know your, your batteries take a take a, a butt kicking with your mods um, especially when you're you're learning different things and maybe you maybe you're running a little few too many wattage uh, on particular mods uh, so yeah your, your batteries pay the price so I said okay we're gonna get some new batteries we're gonna get some Sony VCT 5A's and I have them uh, back yonder so yeah um, trying to stay in flipping focus. Focus is my arch nemesis. It's probably right about here. So the whole time I've been here, I've been all fuzzy. So yeah, I need to. I, I don't know. But yeah. Cloudy? Not so much. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, uh, that's it. That's it. That's all I can come up with. That's all I have to say. Um, so yeah, it's time to stop and edit and put all this jumble gobbledygook into a video and throw it up on the old YouTube. So I'm gonna. I've, I've actually <laughs> recorded quite a bit of footage, and I'm probably going to try to stitch all. Of the videos together I have one other topic that I want to talk about and I really I really think that um, I need to put a little bit more thought into that video before I post it yeah so I appreciate your attention span and you checking out this video so if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button leave me a comment and tell me what you think Literally, what you think? Audio good? Audio bad? Video good? Video bad? Content crap? Don't tell me the content's crap. It'll hurt my feelings. And I don't like having my feelings hurt. So if you don't have anything nice to say about the content, don't say anything at all. And uh, that's all I got for you right now. So, catch you on the next one.